And the clock is ticking on the deadline for a new school funding plan in Kansas. The state Supreme Court says the current plan is unconstitutional, but one area group believes it all depends on your perspective. 41 Action News reporter Dia Walt takes a closer look. Dia. Yeah, Mike and Rhiannon, you can see here in the orange that Kansas state funding for schools has basically gone up every year for the last 10. But is it enough? Districts like KCK say no, but some in Johnson County disagree. There's a, a big, I think, disconnect uh, sometimes between public perception on what the state has put into education funding and what the reality actually is. For example, they were told all last year that school funding was being cut with the block grants. That was never true. Tonight, the Northeast Johnson County conservatives got together to get to the bottom of school finance. It's the biggest thing we do as a state is fund, is fund public schools. Some say not very well. In the last school year, 2015, about 53 cents of every dollar provided to schools actually went to instruction. Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools is one of four districts that sued the state over the block grant, saying it underfunded poorer districts, and the court agreed. They're doing $15,700, where districts in Shawnee, uh, Shawnee Mission, for example, is about $3,000 per pupil less than that. This district snapshot shows KCK also had higher administration costs and a more than 20% increase in spending on students in the last 10 years when compared to Shawnee Mission. Equity isn't just about funding. Funding. Equity is about outcomes. If no plan is approved by June 30th, schools will be shut down. It's a bit ludicrous for the courts to be threatening to close schools over less than 1% of state funding. Kansas State Senator Jeff Melcher was at the presentation tonight. He tells me Governor Sam Brownback is expected to sign the most recent education funding bill by the Friday deadline. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.